क्या रीजन हो सकते हैं देन हाउ टू डिमोस्ट्रेट स्पेस टाइम कर्वेचर इन स्पेस राइट वेर देर इज नो ग्रेविटी बिकॉज यू कैनॉट डिमोस्ट्रेट ग्रेविटी इन द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ ग्रेविटी इट सेल्फ राइट सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड इसको जानने से पहले थोड़ा सा हम हिस्ट्री जान ले तो बेटर होगा सो एक्चुअली ग्रेविटी को समझने के लिए ये पिछले सौ साल से नहीं हुआ है बेसिकली हजारों साल से इस पर रिसर्च होती जा रही है जैसे आप सिक्वेंस में देख सकते हैं कॉपरनिकस इन कैपलर गैलीलियो न्यूटन एंड देन आइंस्टीन ये सारे ग्रेविटी को एक्सप्लेन करने के लिए डिफरेंट डिफरेंट थ्यूरीज मॉडल्स लेके आए राइट ये था आइंस्टीन का मॉडल जिसमें उन्होंने एक्सप्लेन किया कि कोई एग्जिस्टिंग फोर्स नहीं है इट्स जस्ट अ स्लो राइट विच कॉज बाई अ बिगर मास एम टू अ स्मॉलर मास स्मॉल एम एंड इट्स इनवर्सल टू द स्क्वायर ऑफ द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन विच वॉज द्यूटन फॉर्मूला राइट सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मास heavier mass and the smaller mass this slope is formed and because of this slope this smaller mass is pulled by this bigger mass and since there is a orbital velocity of this it's balanced and it's not being sucked by the bigger mass right this is what we know and same way that was the earth moon setup this is the sun and the moon earth sorry earth right or it could be any planet earth moon or whatever and this is the sun the heaviest heaviest mass of the solar system and this is the slope but the question is if in space there is no downward gravity okay then even the mass of the sun is weightless in the space right so it will not form any curve unless this force exist so now the question is what is this force what is pulling sun now to understand this we need to go beyond solar system right this is our solar system a nice image now we have to think and reimagine the solar system from a person's perspective who is outside the solar system not in the solar system right now let's think beyond the space time curvature or how this curvature is formed there is another very nice video you can watch it why gravity is not a force okay uh I will not play this long video, but you you guys can watch it yourselves. Okay, I will give the link in the description below. And then the most important is the reference plane. This is this is causing problem everywhere. All these things we can understand in any inertial frame on Earth, but this we can see in the solar system. But this is the problem. This is the confusion because this keep keeps on changing based on the location of the observer. so if there are two person one is observing on being on the earth the other one is outside the earth in this space in the solar system and one person is further away from the solar system all will see the same object in different way so this is the gravity wells so here is a person we call him alien right he is beyond our solar system he doesn't belong to this solar system right this is our solar system at a point of time which is t1 this is the solar system at t2 time this is the solar system at t3 time right we being here in the solar system cannot see time because we are part of the solar system but the moment we go out we can see this 
This is the time. This is the time. The sun is also moving under the influence of some other force along with the solar system. And this, sol this solar system, along with this gravity of the sun, this is one system, goes further down along the time and all these planets follow the sun. So this is why maybe the sun also acts under the influence of some other force outside the solar system. Okay, so this was the actually slide for that representation. Let me go back. Okay, so here, if anyone goes in the space and try to think, see time, he cannot see time. He cannot see the sun moving under any other force. But the moment you go outside the solar system, this is your range of solar system, like all the planets inside this, right? You can't see sun moving this way because you also moving along with other planets under that force. And this is the gravity well of sun, right? So you can see this. So this is the solar system plane and you're seeing, you're being in the same plane of the sun and solar system. But this, this movement of sun is called time, which you cannot see here being in the solar system. So now, When the sun from here to here travels this way, and it's also rotating, just like other planets. So it has rotation and another motion, maybe revolution of some other black hole or wormhole or any anything could be. But how we define the motion of the sun and the other planets? So this is suppose Earth, right? So this is here, Earth, right? Now, when the sun was here, the Earth could be here. When the sun was here, the Earth could be here, right? So from he, the sun, from here to when it completes one circle, we, what we call it in the, in the 2D diagram, we see sun, earth, completing one cycle. One cycle is one year, right? Which is actually a helix. The sun from here crossing makes one year. And, and this is the time from this point to this point, one year. So the sun travels from here to here one year and the earth during this motion of the sun in the helix completes one cycle which comes one year and in the 2, 2D we always see like this which is elliptical or circular <coughs> because it's hard to present in uh, a 2D plane these 3D motions. This is how the gravitational fields of the planets or bigger masses act because you see in here, okay, let me go back to this slide. Yeah, this one. So you can see here, all these planets, this is one mass, this is another mass, this is another mass, it's revolving. So since this is the heavy, this is 99.9% .9 of the solar system, this mass, mass of sun alone. So the center of gravity or center of mass will always be near the sun. <coughs> but the rest 0.1% which belongs to these planets, is revolving so the center of mass would be shifting very little bit here and there depending on the positions of the other planets so because the center of mass always remains here the sun is believed to be traveling under the influence of some other big bigger mass gravity in a straight line little bit following the curve because of this uh, changing center of mass due to the revolutions of the planet so this is my theory and if you have any other contradictions or observations, you let me know in my comment section and we will try to uh, discuss on that topic. So here we end today's session. Thank you very much.